Whether you are new to painting or looking to know more about brush techniques, this video can help you. Today we'll see what paintbrushes are capable of. This episode will focus on round paintbrushes, including several techniques to try. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy, we teach the world to paint. In this video we used a small and medium sized round paintbrush and a canvas panel to explore the ways to use this type of paintbrush. Take any pressure off of yourself to create a finished piece today and enjoy the exploration of learning something new about acrylic painting. The first use for a round brush is called stippling. Stippling can be done by lightly tapping the paintbrush on the canvas, utilizing its smaller tip to create small flecks of color. Stippling can be sparse or densely packed, depending on the look you're going for. You can layer colors to add dimension and use this technique to add texture. A smaller round brush and even pressure creates perfect polka dots. The second use for a round brush is painting even lines, curved or otherwise. This simple technique will help you outline objects or create repeated linear patterns. When used with a light touch, this type of brush will help you paint text with ease. The third use for a round brush is painting flower petals. This type of brush is perfect for painting certain types of petals due to its shape. To create this type of petal, begin by loading up the paintbrush with the desired color. Use the brush slightly at an angle as you press down with medium pressure. Hold the paintbrush gently as you lighten the pressure and lift the brush off the canvas. Work in a circular pattern and layer over time using slightly different hues as you continue working. You may need to allow one layer to dry before attempting the next one. Please note that with this technique, you can use stippling to create the center of your flower as we have here. Here's a bonus technique and it's a variation for flower petals. Using more than one color on your brush when painting petals with this method results in instantly dynamic color and looks great. The fourth round brush technique is creating evergreen trees. Pine and other evergreen trees are simple when painted with a round brush. Begin by using a stamping motion in a horizontal line using leaf green. Start from the bottom of the tree and work upward. Narrow the tree's width as you work your way up. Even anything undesirable out by balancing each side's visual weight. Use varying shades of green to create highlight and low lights. The fifth and final round brush technique is creating leaves. This method is similar to the petal method with a few slight changes. Begin by using leaf green and light pressure. Press down a little harder as you move in a straight line and then let up on the pressure once more. A smaller paintbrush creates tiny, daintier leaves when used in the same fashion. We hope you learned some new ways to use your round paintbrushes today. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful painting videos. Hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. Begin your acrylic painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free guides. See you next time.